I'm multi dating. I'm dating a lot of different people, okay. and and I think I need to do that. I mm -hmm. think we should normalize dating, having multiple dating partners. Even the process of dating should be normalized, guys, because that part is when you're getting to know somebody fully, and you need to date somebody. Don't rush for relationship title. No, 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 no. Oh, zaz washanawe, and then you go and mix with someone else. You don't even know if the boat is going left or right. Introducing the epitome of luxury living. Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits. So there are aspects of my life um, that I will never reveal. Um, that are between myself, my yes. family, and we became um, and who God. we are because of that past and that history. Mm. We became strong women mm. because we know who we are. Our fundus and all of that. I mean, I heard the, the audible voice of God. It wasn't the decision. The decision. Was the decision. Yeah. 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 That one, yeah. Like Christ Himself. What was that about? Yes. I don't even so know. So you can't know. just trust um, the person who was able to initiate a relationship with your husband knowingly and trust them with your life, with your kid. A fancy restaurant um, in a beautiful place in South Africa. And he left you with Love them. seven Love them. Foods, babe. He's not circumcised. <laughs> I meant our sex. Our sex. I mean, I already do, do it. Yes. Will it marry what you say you're doing? Which is... Yay! How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I love that Hi, show you that <laughs> So, so, yay, okay, we're doing that, we're doing that, we're doing that. It's okay. To interview me, come, come on. What color is your mom's fridge? <laughs> She's dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> rest in peace. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. I have a way of putting my foot in my mouth. That's ne? Always has been. That's what happens when you take over people's shows. Literally. Also, the tool. I'm good, my love. I'm so good. Good to have you back. It's lovely to see you always. You're doing well? Yeah, you know. Of course. I mean, you know, we're trying. Yeah. We do what we do, how we do. How's it been? How's it been? How have you been? Oh, you know what? I'm actually really happy now. Everything's kind of mellowed. I think the last time we were sitting down together, it was it was like, oh my gosh, just got off the show and all of the hype that has come with being off the show. Now it's like chilled. Now it's mellow. Now yeah. making in very intentional decisions Absolutely. about your brand. Absolutely. You're doing what you want to do. You've kind of figured out how this public eye thing works. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, now you choose what, to, what you want people to see as opposed yeah, to yeah. maybe so everything yeah, one time yeah. when you first came out. So yeah, it's mellowed. I love it now. I nice get that. Relax. It's uh, it's a season where you've had more than a year to find yourself, Absolutely. understand who you are in the limelight. Absolutely. Yeah, That's and perfect. because uh, I'm sure initially when um, you were fresh to the limelight, yeah. everyone had opinions about oh how you should do days. things. Oh. Exactly. exactly. That's exactly how it was. You just and then you thrashed into that because I'm at prep. You know what, Lou? Like they don't prepare you. When you just think you, I literally just thought I'm just gonna go have fun. Not pay rent for three months. It's mm -hmm. going to be great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you don't think of like what happens after. Absolutely. And then now you're thrust into everybody wants to, you know, know everything about you. And it's, they don't prep you for that part. Like, There's oh, no mental preparation. And then you make mistakes and you say too much sure. or you say the wrong thing. And mm. no, 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 no. Mm. But now it's mellowed. Because there's another whole season out. So now it's... Yeah, yeah. It's it's like born. That's what's lovely about this thing. Yeah. Like, every, like, it's done. Your, yeah. your, your time is now fizzled out. It's now... The next, you know, now you're an alumni, you know, much get a degree with the deal, it's the next, yeah. <laughs> next person's but, turn. But some people, that sends them rather into a depressive episode because 
the, the, the limelight was addictive. The fame was addictive. Now, ang sanagi I mean, similarly with idols, as soon as a new season comes out, yeah. people move on from you. True. And it's very few who still maintain True. a limelight or True. that effect or who are able to build a brand. So True. didn't you have that feeling of, oh my gosh, I'm losing relevance? I love that. Qu- I, what an important question you're mm. asking. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's such an important question. It all comes down to what your intention was in the first place. What's your why? Even in life in general. What is your why? And if your why still remains the same, nothing will shake you. If you still have the intention of what you were doing for, why you were doing it for, it doesn't matter if 10 people see it or 10,000 people see it, your why still remains. And my why was to, you know, you know, we talked about it last time, representation, Mm -hmm. you know, showing some, (coughs) showing people what it's, you know, you want to present a brand to people that they can relate to. Sure. And sometimes that, you, you dip, you know, obviously, you know, sometimes people are, looking at something else, and now it's something else. So if you always stay true to your why, I mean, a social media is fun for me. It's a hobby for me. It's never been a, oh my God, the numbers, the this, the that, the blue tick, the that. And I love what Instagram did with that blue tick. I clap my hands. I'm like, yes, everybody should be verified because what is that? Yeah, yeah, it, the, yeah. You, you know yourself. You yeah. are verified already. Yeah. So what are you yeah. looking for that validation for? And then Instagram came and just took you away. You are valid. You already Full are stop. valid. Yeah. You've been yeah. valid. You've and been valid. And what's your why? What are you doing? Yeah. And if you just keep doing that, then it doesn't matter. And so, yes, my colleagues on you know, the platform, on Big Brother, you know, having relationships with them and speaking to them, we went through a lot of different things. And that what you're hin- um, highlighting is true. That depression came through with a lot of other housemates and, like, you know, not knowing where they fit in now and et cetera, et cetera. But if you just stick to your why, what was your purpose in the first place? Sure, sure. Just keep sure. doing that. Stick to your why. Always just do, do that. If you don't yeah. have a why anymore, stop. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. uh-huh. uh-huh. all stars uh-huh. are that. In fact, Puma will I'm lighting. Puma. Call Puma. Panty, re- Go to your reassess. corner. Go yes. to your corner. Go to your corner. Reconfigure. Yeah. Come back. Mercedes Benz won't release a car if they don't have something else to add to it. Mm. They mm. won't. They'll mm. just say, well, that, those are our cars. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Go and buy that. People will still go and buy the merch. Absolutely. And it will, if it's a C-class that lasts for three years, then it will last for three years without I'll a go, new one. Because yeah. it yeah. just will remain a C-class. Yeah. So just stick to your why. That's stick to your why. why. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I see that you are not a one of the people clearly who suffered severely from um, feeling irrelevant. Yeah. But in your conversations with fellow housemates yeah. slash cast members, yeah. um, what, are, what is your takeaway? Have people gone through such episodes and they feel have. like... They have. Oh my gosh, Nazing are famous and it only lasted six months they and no have. one cares about me anymore. They have. I, I think these shows and fame in general should come with therapy uh, and, and mental, uh, mental health should be at the very pinnacle of it. I think we all just need that Yeah. to debrief from mental and experience, to debrief and just to you know come back to who you were in the beginning. And the takeaway from that is, I think allow yourself to go through it because I think we all did. We allowed ourselves to feel that feeling of, okay, when I might say, couldn't be BM Titans, now there's this, now there's that, now there's that. Go through that emotion, then go to your corner, cry if you need to cry, go through it, but then come back, come back and remind people what, what, is, what you were before, you even, before they even knew you. Yeah, yeah, yeah Before yeah. you even had a platform. What are you doing with that platform? Yes, are you contributing yes. to society with that yeah, platform? Yeah. Like, what are you providing to the people? And with me, I saw when, you know, there's a very big thing that they don't let us know. People are fans of the show. They're yep. fans of the Big Brother franchise. franchise. Yeah. They're fans of the Idol franchise. Yeah. They're not fans of you necessarily, some yeah. people. Yeah. So yeah. you'll even take a dip in your followers. And yes. when that happened for me, I was like, okay, this is good. Now I can see who's left. Yeah. Now, now yeah. I can yeah. see yeah. what's left. Because it, it, it peaks during the show. Absolutely. And then the reality hits. Good. It plateaus. And it then plateaus. It, it just dips. Some yeah. people just dip. Yeah. And then you, that, that gives you the perfect chance to mm. reconfigure and say, right, so... What are you really following for me for? And I'd rather you follow me for Yoli, not for Yoli that was on Big Brother. Sure. I'd rather you follow me for that. I'd rather you like me or you don't like me, but for that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that, that yeah. that's the takeaway, hey? It, it makes sense a lot because the show creates such a stimulation, yes. but people are there to follow the brand yes. of the show. Remember, the show is a franchise. The, yes. fr- the show is an institution. Yes. And the show will continue being exactly. an institution, my darling, whether you are whether there or not. not. Exactly. But people have made the mistake of putting all their eggs in one basket exactly. when they go to the show and, said, and saying, oh my gosh, this show is my big break. Absolutely. I will become a star after the show. Without actually even a plan of, we are a presenter, we are actor, 
Uh, w- yes. of, yes. stardom, do you understand that people become stars because yeah. they are sharing a talent? It's so true. Yeah. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And I think a lot of, a lot of us had to ask ourselves, mm. then when you figure that out, our, you're done. Like you, yeah. There's nothing that can stop you because you're just going to keep doing that. And mm. those that gravitate will gravitate mm. and those that don't won't. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, moving on a bit. The last <laughs> time we, the last time we had a conversation, we spoke very candidly because it was very based on the show yes. about um, love and companionship yes, because yes. the show, it was fresh off the show. Yes. But I mean, since then and now, <laughs> how's love? Is love treating you well? Ah, after that tweet that came out a couple of days ago, <laughs> and are we really okay? <laughs> wow, are we okay? Um, I, think, yo, I think love is great. I think love is a beautiful thing, but I'm very intentional about that, that side of myself because I think like most women, when we give in, we give in completely wholeheartedly, it just becomes a thing. So I'm very, very big on um, making sure that that energy that I'm sparing in that regard is, is placed in the right way. So I'm very, you know, I'm so intentional. I don't even, haven't even thought about it in terms of that. I'm not dating anybody at the moment. Well, I don't, I'm not in a steady relationship. Yo, sorry. Yay, <laughs> yay. Did I just... Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in a relationship. I am dating. You just took yourself to the red table and yeah. like, must join. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Yes. Actually, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm Yeah. Okay, correct. No, I'm going I'm dating at the moment and I think it's important to date. I think what I want to say is... Multi-dating? Yes. Are I, you multi-dating? I'm multi-dating. I'm dating a lot of different people. Okay. And, and I think I need to do that. I mm-hmm. think we should normalize dating, having multiple dating partners. Even the process of dating should be normalized, guys. Because that part is when you're getting to know somebody fully. And you need to date somebody. Don't rush for a relationship title. No, 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 no. Oh, Zaz, wash an hour. And then you go and mix with someone else. You don't even know if the boat is going left or right. I think... Dating helps you know what I figured out. Dating helps you figure out what you like, what you don't like, who you are, and you feel that when you're dating these different people. Sure. So I'm, I'm taking it very nicely in the dating phase. I'm cruising gently there. But aren't you scared dating. that a, 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 a piece of your mental health and emotional well-being um, is affected by the different energies that you get from the different people? Well, yes. Yes. But I also think it's necessary. I think that's part of this game called life. I, I honestly, I view, it, I view it like this. There are things that I can control in my life. Yeah. My, my career, how much, you know, how much I make, for example, where I live, how I engage with the world. I can control those things. And then there's another aspect, partnership, this companionship. It relies not only on me. There are other mitigating factors, even your faith. My, for me, I'm a Christian. Your, your faith is also part of it. You've got to pray for your partner and then you release to God, right? So I always say, if I can't control it, I'm not going to spend that much energy in sure, it. Yeah. And when I've made that prayer, Guti Baba, he'll lead me there. And he, what he'll do is, I think God is funny in that way. When you pray for a man, he'll send you option A, B, C, and D, right? And then he, that because he wants you to narrow down. What's your specific? So then you go to A, what is A? I want a bit of A and B. So you've got to make sure that you've, you've narrowed down that. You've got to be so intentional with prayer, with everything. So if, if I treat that intent the same with career and, 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 you know, life, I should treat it the same with relationships as well. Yeah. So I, I put my faith in that a lot. I put my, my, my spirituality in dating quite a lot. And, yeah, I, and I've yeah, become yeah. very intentional. So whether, whether I'm learning from you, even if you're just here for a season, and I'm dating you for this season. There's something that you're going to teach me. I'm going to learn from it. Dating should be a learning experience on both parts. It should contribute to both of our growth. And when it's past its season or it, it hasn't reached where you want it to reach it, okay, Tedela, like let's let's normalize that. Let's let's not put our our you know our everything, man, yeah, into relationships. Yeah. There's so much more. But Yuli, we're getting older. Our, um, on a on a just emotional yeah. basis, a katazi. That's what I'm trying to get at is yeah, I know, I know there's learnings, there is yeah. things that you are getting from people, but aren't you feeling like I'm, I'm feeling a bit tired? It's like, maybe, especially maybe if you don't I, find that, that not, one. That's true. But maybe it's because I'm not like, it's not like I'm seeing 5,000 people every 5,000 days. Yeah. I think my priorities are different. I think I don't prioritize that because I believe it's going to be taken control of. It's going to be handled. Um, so I don't stress about it. I'm, I'm serious. I'm one of those... I do not stress a good, oh, 
Time's running out, or the clock's running out, or biological. Look, I always think of Elizabeth. She was 50 in the Bible absolutely, when she had the baby. Absolutely. Chris Jenner <laughs> had her last baby at 40 something. My mom just finished menopause. So I always look, I'm like, genetics, I'm Especially good. Especially if you trust God. You, what are you all, saying you trust God for? That's all. And how? When there's so much evidence come around, on. around your life that God, is, that God is at play. Thank you. That's yeah. exactly my point. And then I always say to, yourself, to myself, your faith must then be put in action. So if you say, I trust God, but, but I'm going to settle with this guy because I don't know what's happening. Mm. You're showing God your faith is only this small. Yeah. Your faith is only good enough for this guy that you're settling yeah. for. But if you have that much faith, you know, God, I've told you, in the meantime, let me work on myself so that when he comes, I'm ready. Mm. In mm. the meantime, let me work on my bag so that when he comes, I'm ready. Mm. You, you go into preparation phase when you're single. It's a lovely, lovely phase. It's just that this society is so messed up that they've made it seem like it's a horrible, taboo Absolutely, thing yeah. to be single. Gatle Gatle is the perfect time to, to build other relationships, not just with a, with a man. Yeah. How are you with your parents? Bro? Yeah, How yeah, are you yeah, at home? Yeah. You want to get married? Are you ready to bring him to say, Because you're merging families. Are you, have yeah. you seen your yeah. dad? Yeah. Like, or yeah. not? Or, or yeah. Do you, are you okay to like, are you domesticated? Mm -hmm. Are you like, are you ready? For little Leo, does it like... So I always think of it as a phase. Like, I'm in that phase. It's a lovely time. I had, this is a great time. I had Angel Zuma a few weeks ago on the chair. And conversely to what you're saying about believing in trying different relationships so that you learn new things and attract new lessons from yes. people, she says she has never dated in her life. She's in her mid to late 20s at the moment. And she says she will never date. She's praying for a man and she will marry that man that God delivers when she feels that her prayer has been answered. And she believes so much that the day her prayer is answered, she will know that this is the one. Yeah. So there's that side of the coin where there are people who believe yeah. in, in that. Yeah. Ha, 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 is, is that something you think you could ever subscribe to? Listen, I, I, I love Angel Zuma. She's beautiful. And I think faith is a relative thing. It's a subjective thing. Mm -hmm. That's how she activates her faith. Mm -hmm. But as for me, it, it would never. It could, it, I, don't, I can't see how I could subscribe to that. Because I always think of, there's a story in the, in the Bible where there was a man, I think it was something to do with, he was, I can't remember nicely the reference. Yeah. Excuse me, guys that are you know, super, super bible -y, but I can't remember the reference. Anyway, this guy um, you know, was sailing and then he, you know, he drowned. Uh, no, he was sailing on this, mm -hmm. on, on this, wherever he was sailing. And then he started to drown. Something happened to his boat. And then someone came, a, a first lifeboat came. He said, no, don't, don't worry. God is going to save me. You can leave me here. Then the next lifeboat came. He said, no, 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 I'm waiting for God. He's going to come and save me. Don't worry, leave me here. The third boat came, same thing. No, I'm waiting for God. He's going to come and, you know, leave me. He's going to come and fix me. Yeah. Then the guy died, went to heaven. And he asked, he asked God, God, like, why didn't you save me? He said, I sent you three lifeboats. <laughs> Each time he said, no, I'm coming. So I always think, are we, we, I know what she's saying. I hear what she's saying. Just that you have to activate faith in your own way, to your yeah, own personal yeah, relationship. I yeah. look for signs. Once I've prayed, same thing of manifestation. Once I, once I pray, I start looking for the signals. I've activated it. So now as I'm going through life, the signals are there. You've already communicated it. So now when you encounter a person, you, look, you encounter Ulungelo, having prayed that you want a, a studious man. You want a man that's, that's studious. You come across a lungelu, you can see he's studious. Is that not an activation of faith? Sure. Go in that boat and see. You know, I don't mean now give your, your everything and whatever else, but tap into that that you just prayed for. You mean, I mean, if you're going to pray for, for rain, bring an umbrella. Don't just stand in the rain and say it's going to rain on me sometime. Yeah. Where's your umbrella? Are you ready? Be prepared. The, the, the universe works in, in accordance with each other. Everything works all together for your good, all yeah, the time. Yeah, everything yeah. is geared that way to work for your good. So when you activate that faith... I'm looking, now my signs are active. I'm looking for things. And everything, even in your career, come mm -hmm. on. If you're praying for a, a promotion, then you start, you start studying how to be the best at that job the that you just version. said. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You want to be a software engineer? That's your promotional job. Go and learn. You know, I'm learning how to be a software engineer mm -hmm. in preparation for that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so you prepare. You look, you know, you consider what's going on as you receive the signals from the universe. S That's speaking, how I see it. Speaking of prayer, um, I love that you speak about how prayer is a guiding factor in your life. Yes. Um, what would you say is your go-to prayer? 
Oh wow, I freestyled a lot with my prayers, hey? Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I, when people ask me about my relationship with God, I always say he's literally my homie. I see it like that. Because me and my father have a very strong relationship. This, hap- this was explained in the show as well when they asked us about, you know, to, relieve, um, to talk about family dynamics. Me and my dad are very, very close. He's, he, you know, he's like my backbone. Mm, so mm. I, I see the relationship with father mm-hmm. in that way. So I always say, I don't have a go-to prayer, but I yeah. always say, um, you know, Jeremiah 29, you know, you, you, all your plans for me are to prosper me. Yes. That's, that's it. I start there and I said, and I always hold God accountable for his word. So you open the word and I said, God, you said you will give me prosperity. Yeah. Can yeah. it come now, please? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. said that I don't have to worry or be anxious about anything. I'm anxious now. Power. Remove that anxiety. Give me hope. Give me that hope. Let me see it because you said it. It's in your word. So I always, it's nice to know the Bible. It gives you, it gives you, you, you know, ammunition. Not that you want to contest with God, but it says, God, you, you don't lie. You're not a liar, God. You don't flip-flop. It's in your word that I should inherit the kingdom of the earth. Can I inherit now? Please? Empower me. Empower me. Empower exactly. me. Um, continue as, as, exactly. your word, as your word as says. As your word says. That's why you've got to know the word. So you can yeah. always, you know, say it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite interesting because um, there's something I saw on, 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 on social media. In fact, it's happening on YouTube where people are complaining, Guti, all the YouTube girls or all the influencers are talking about God and going back to God um, and faith. And, 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 and do you think it's a, a, a representation of where we are as people spiritually, yeah. collectively, yeah. as the collective body? Or do you, do you think it's, it's, a, it's hype? Because, I mean, for example, there's the beautiful movement that I respect Rory Sangtandegiso for strongly. Jesus, Je- Jesus this, Jesus that. Um, I've yes. never been able to attend any one of, uh, of those, but yes. just seeing it on social media yes. and what it's doing to people's lives, yes. I think it's tangibly changing people's lives. Yes. Are you of the perception that it's a season for God in young people right now? Yes. Or are people just doing this fashion thing? But people are actually not committing to God. Yeah, that's a heavy one, Lungelo. You always, Lungelo always, he will always, it's in that iPad of his. <laughs> Okay, listen, hey, even if they're doing it for the hype, yeah. God is still being praised there. We will take the hype. Sure. <laughs> so whether they're faking it or not, he's still getting the glory. It's okay. But if we are moving to that, to that um, shift as society, I'm happy. I haven't seen it personally happening. I see the opposite, to be fair. But if we are moving towards making God the center of everything and, and God is fashionable, I say this, so be it. Mm, mm. I rather it ask to me say, and I go, no, no. If, if yeah, you're gonna hype yeah, something, yeah. and even if it's for fashion, he's still getting praised. Mm. So I, I, I view it like that. I don't know. Also, it's 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 so personal, Lentalena. Faith is so personal to you. So for for anyone to have like a cookie cutter, copy paste type of one size fits all um, mindset of, about re- religion, I think it's a bit twisted because mm. we all have our own personal walk with God, and we all are here for our own purpose through him. So mm. you've got to find that within yourself. I don't think anyone can tell you, nah, you, 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 you model. Now nah, follow this. I don't think it's like that. I think we all encounter God in our own specific way. And it's just for us to see. Share with each other what, what your encounter was. Yeah, yeah. Share that experience. Make it normal for, for us to have these kind of discussions. I think that's, if that's what's happening in society, I say more power to it. I, I, I get I that. More power to it. Um, m- moving on, moving on from that. Yeah. Um, I I know social media can be highly curated, and yeah. we share oh, certain yeah. elements of it, where perhaps you share only happy moments, yeah. funny moments, dancing moments, yeah. and from me on your social media, you, I find you very real. Yeah, I but that. I haven't I haven't ever seen you. Going through pain or, yeah. or, or sad or mad. Yeah. How do you, what is your relationship with pain? I love, I, oh, you're just asking the right questions. I actually had that same discussion with my friend yesterday when we looked at my social media and, and she said the same thing you're saying, you seem so relevant. Would you ever open up that other side? Mm. You, seem like, you seem like everybody's bestie. Mm-hmm. Would you ever open mm-hmm. up that other side? And I said, I think it is time for me to make that shift actually on social media. So what you're saying is so in, 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 in sync. Some people do get to see other sides of me on, on TikTok, especially, um, where, where I open up that avenue of me that hasn't really been yeah. um, um, opened up. But, but I feel like the platform of Instagram itself, um, I, I don't know if it's the right place for me to, 
to, to, I don't know yet. Listen, I'm still learning. I haven't figured out social media out yet at all. I don't know what 118 people are doing on my account in the first place. 118,000. Yeah. Why are you there? I don't know, <laughs> but thank you for being there. <laughs> I haven't figured out how to do that. Yeah. You know, I'll be yeah. dead honest with you. I'm not, and, uh, and uh, when I realize that it's when brands approach, you know, like when brands approach you and, and they ask you to make a, a video or make a this, oh, P, here's a free meal, go there and do that. I always go, it's, that just seems so fake to me. Thank you, but it just feels so weird to me. I don't want to go there necessarily. And it just feels like, even if today, if, if social media just ended today, if Instagram ended today. I'd be fine. I was just about to say that. I'd be more than content. If Instagram just took away your account today, no more Instagram, would you still be okay, world? And I said to myself, yes, I would. Yoli, I'd be devastated if, my, if, if I could no longer broadcast, yes. which is YouTube. I'd try my best to find another platform because yes. that is what is intrinsically me, yes. broadcasting. Yes. But what we do on Instagram, thank you. I don't want any I, of that. Oh, thank you. I was, I was just hoping Take someone me out. else feels that way. Take I, me out. That's okay. Give me zero. Not I'm interested. A, it's a fine. Minus five. It's thank fine. you. Angiko. If, I'm, if I'm not <laughs> doing it well and that's the reason I haven't reached a certain number of, of followers. Thanks, bro. I'm okay. I live in so much happiness in my life. My real life that's not on there is so fulfilling. Yeah. Thank you for answering my question. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't think there were still people that believed that mm. within that realm that we are now thrust into because I was thrust into it. Yeah. So that's something that I chose. Wait, yeah, when I went into Big Brother, I had 5,000 followers and they were from TikTok mm. diverting just to see, oh, I like how she talks about pan-Africanism. Let me go see yeah. if she's talking. Yeah. Yeah. I came back and I'm already at 70,000. I said, how? <laughs> That was my very first, because my cousin was handling my account. Yeah. And she showed me at the house, there's people calling themselves violets, and they're like, Yo, <laughs> they're, I'm like, violets? You mean they heard that one conversation where I said my name means violet, and then they went to go and, eh? Does that mean, eh? Yeah. It, it just became too much. And, exactly. I, and I said, well, then, guys, I don't know anymore. I, I don't know. So when, when I took a slight dip, I lost like 2,000 followers. I said, okay, this is nice. I like this. Now, whoever's left here, that means they really are left here. Sure. For me, so mm. let, let me let me give you my tone, Yana, and see how that works. <laughs> now let me show you how I wear this outfit. But even that, like I'm, I, I am on a on a social media purge at the moment, and I'm gonna reinvent myself because I do want to show that other side, that side that TikTok gets to see, very uncandid side. Mm. And mm. I'll just tell you exactly what I think of you, or I'll you know I'll show a very real element on that side. I'm trying to bring it to Instagram, but Instagram doesn't feel like a place where people want to see real stuff. True. It feels I, 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 like we I, all are a persona of ourselves. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna angle my question differently because I still want you to, 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 to give it this to us because I can see you, <laughs> you struggle with talking about the vulnerabilities. I do. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know. Hey? Yeah. First time around, I said, "What is your relationship with pain?" Maybe if I'm okay. more specific and say, "What is the most painful thing you think you've gone through in your life?" Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, yeah, I need it. I, I need to know because uh, pain, pain is, is something that we all go through and how we navigate it differently can help the next person who's listening because you might not, you, you know, pain overwhelms you so much sometimes that you think you're going through it alone. True. But there's so an true. exact pain that somebody is going through out That's there. True. And because we... Um, have this vessel, this platform yeah. that God has blessed us with, where people tune in and listen to what we say. Yeah. It's, I think it's worth it that we, we share what is the deepest pain that you've gone through. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is, you know, I think, I think, what, if I was to describe my relationship with pain, I like analogies a lot. I treat it like, a, you know, an old friend that, that comes, she lives overseas. Pain lives overseas. She's been living overseas for years. And then she calls you and then you move. You've got to invite her in. Yeah. And you've got to have a, a, a room for her set up. Sure. So I think for me, it arrives suddenly. And, and I have to, what I, what I do is, and I think it's not a good thing that I do. I automatically, and I think we all do, I go straight to survival mode. I go to the quickest, how do I not feel this? And I think growing up as an only child has made me extremely resilient. Like I can, I have the vessels within me to handle the pain. Mm -hmm. Or also I believe, that's not the case. Obviously, I do need help. But because you're, you're, you know, you're, you're brought up alone, your, your immediate response is to deal with it on your own. Mm -hmm. So you become self-preserved a lot. And you become self-dependent a lot to mm -hmm. the point where you shut out everything and everyone else. 
which is unhealthy. And, and I tend to, to deal on my own. I can handle it. You, come, you can become very brave. That's probably why I always have a bulletproof motherfucking vest. <laughs> it's symbolic. Uh, that is, I just thought of it now. This, yeah. I have like 5,000 of these yeah. and, I, and I wear them not thinking that maybe it's my armor. That's how I deal and, mm. I, and I deal with it in a, maybe a way that, that isn't as healthy. Maybe you're supposed to vent but I always say I don't have time to vent. Deal with this, Yolanda, and then quickly move on. So maybe that's why even when you asked me earlier, you know... Um, you were moving on. House, it yes, was the moving on. And ma- exactly. And you asked, me, you asked me, what did the housemates, did they go through it? Did you, you seem like you didn't go through it. Maybe I did, but I just went, okay, next thing, we're yeah. not going to feel that. I put it in a box, and yeah. I yeah. bury it, yeah. and then maybe it manifests differently. Yeah, yeah. It manifests differently yeah. or through a different way. Yeah. But what I will say is, getting older... Um, I've realized the importance of self-introspection. Mm-hmm. And so I do self-therapy a lot, um, where I just spend time in it, sit in it. I sit in the pain, and I let it... If it's going to stink, it stinks, and I deal with that stink. If it's going to hurt, it hurts, and I deal with it on my own, like I'm very self-preserved. That's probably why I'm still single, is because I always think to myself, um, how is that person going to deal with how self-preserved I am? Describe to me a recent pain that you've had, you, you, you did that too. Like, you, 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 you tried to move on quickly yes. instead of, instead of let it, letting it feel it, feel it. Yes, where I just cried it. Yeah. Um, I don't want, ah, shit. I was, I was with someone, uh, hey, Jereva. I fell in love, mm-hmm. and then, um, when the love didn't fall for me, mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, you know, you fall in, in love yeah. and then it doesn't work out. Instead of dealing with the problems or dealing with the root or dealing with that pain, I quickly shoved, shutted it out and then mm-hmm. carried on my life. So I, I went through a very, I'll say I went through a very hard breakup. Mm-hmm. Yes, I went through a very hard breakup and then I just decided. Do you think you haven't dealt with to, it yet? To, you shoved it away. I've dealt with it in certain aspects, but not as, as fully as, as what should. is healthy. Yeah, yes. as you should. I've done enough to survive, mm, mm, mm. which is what I do. I just realized, thank you for making me realize that I just survive. That's what I'm doing. Do you realize that <laughs> um, we undermine the effects of breaks up, breakups on our lives? Yeah. Because partners go beyond romance. It becomes companionship. Yeah. And fundamentally, humanity requires companionship. Nobody is a soul ranger. Let me explain. For us to be sitting here... Two of us show on camera, yeah. there are people behind the scenes. Those are our companions yeah. in this particular moment, right? So when you lose a love interest who was a companion, whom you have fallen in love with fully, you have almost lost somebody as if you have buried them and they've died. So if we don't mourn the loss of relationships, if we don't allow ourselves to cry and heal properly, we are not allowing the process of mourning to happen. You're right. No, you're right. And I, and I think it's the wind. I'm not crying. <laughs> it's the wind. Um, you're right. Yo, this is deep, eh? Yo, this is so deep. It, it wasn't even just that. Now you're making me think of all the pain that I've put. It wasn't even just the breakup that I think was more painful. I think... Yo, no, 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 no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to go there because I've, I've dealt with that. There was a narrative created on that godforsaken show that I yeah. was on about me that I hated with the very core of me that they reduced my appearance on the show to gash one. I hear you. I hated that with every passion in me. And I think... I think, what, I think what reality TV does, it looks for... It, I don't think that show was actually reality TV. Even though, yes, they were, it, was, it was shot in that aspect, there's obviously things that you don't see, that I didn't realize, that the audience didn't see, certain conversations that were had. Uh, um, and I'm like, why didn't they air that? Why did they reduce my character to this only, when there was so much else, you know? So I think even more than, than, than that breakup, it's that, that pain. And, and then maybe I kicked into survival mode and started pushing other parts of me so hard so that people would see that, how dare you reduce me to just that? I hear you. My, narr- my, my storyline on the show was, gash one? Really? 
You know what I mean? So that, that's what got, I think that's what got to me the most. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't want to go there until just now when you asked me, because that was painful. But you've healed, that and I can hear painful. that you've healed because yes. you can speak about it yes. fully. It means you've dealt with it. Yes. Um, as much as I, we were speaking about how yes. you've been quiet about certain things, silence is not, yes. it, we, you can't demonize that too. You're so because right. just because you, you've been silent on, about it in public platforms, yes. it doesn't mean you don't have friends your dad, your mom, yes. to speak to about it, yes. who have helped you go through it exactly. and you vented to them about the it and you've happened. cried to them yes. about it. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. And only now, because you're, you're in a great mind space yes. to speak about it, and that's okay, that you can speak about that's, it now. And furthermore, the circumstances are wonderful. even better because he's moved on, it's, he's happy, exactly. fully happy, so it can everybody's be spoken about happy. healthily. Yes. yes, everybody's happy. The closure was dealt with on a... On a, on a on, no, you know, not on an open platform where everybody got to see it. But now that you're making me think about it, I'm like, actually, that's what, that shit was really fucking, what? Yeah, and, 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 what, yeah. People, and what people don't know, um, I'm glad that you say your character because there's the character Yolanda, the real yes. person, and then there's the character that the TV production yes. makes. And yes. the character the TV production makes, you must look at those credits. They are content directors yes. on Big Brother. It's a reality show, yes. but you'll see it. 20 people who are directing content. Yes. One of them is my friend. And he used to tell me that um, he, he's, he was responsible for just one character. You see my point? Directing one character's narrative throughout the whole season. Mother. So each of you guys on the show have a content director who's dealing with you and saying, this is what will work for TV. This is what the audience would want to see, etc., etc. Mind-boggling. Because yeah. when you get out, you think... When you hear that narrative, you're like, but guys, weren't you watching? Yeah, what were you watching? What, which? No. Which were you wa Did you no. not hear? No. It's because it's every time... Hectic. The, the, every time Yolanda was being Yolanda, yes. the cameras... The content director said, move the cameras. The Next dude person. you did. The cameras are moved. It's not about you. No, we don't want to hear that side. We'll go back to her and she's skinnering and she's gossiping. She's gossiping. Run to her. Switch to her. So that, you, so, that, so that after a month... Every scene that's shown of you is gossiping. She's a gossiper. The narrative is built. <laughs> You're just making me think of something. That's so true. Yeah. You're so right. Yeah. How am I? I made a TikTok. For I'm telling you how much it stretches. This, yeah. is how, this is how badly it stretches. I made a TikTok video, Izolo, or the day before. The amount of sense coming out of my mouth. Mm. Even I was shocked. Mm. Wow. The amount of, I was giving historical facts is what I do. I'm a Pan-Africanist. And I was giving some historical context. Somebody says, we remember what you did, Gash One. Comment. Someone says, oh, Gash One has got a call. Unrelated. And the depth of how an incorrect narrative can I be was, driven I, through media. I was floored. I'm like, I just spoke so much sense. Yeah. And that's yeah. what you got? And that's what you got. That's when I realized I'm not, I've never been the problem. Never. That's, it's never been yeah. me. They've been indoctrinated Ab through the system. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's what, I think every, no, I wouldn't say celebrity, but I think every person in the public that's popular, eye, goes through. Goes through that. Yeah. Goes through that. It's, it's what, and also I think people project onto themselves through you. So if, if they are feeling something, They'll project it through you, and mm -hmm. then they'll, they'll it'll come out in a hate comment, or mm -hmm. they'll come. Out. I see it all the time with being a plus size creator. Some people are so mad about themselves, they they hate how they look, that they can't stand when somebody who's bigger, who's not supposed to like how they look, loves how they look. Sure. And then they say, "You fat bitch." I'm yeah. Like, you want to call yourself a fat bitch. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's really... That's where this is coming it's from. It's not about me right now, sweetheart. And even, if that, you, and even if you are not fat, there's an other underlying issue that you have. Yes. Maybe you maybe you inadequate that Yoli is bold, um, she's confident, and you don't yes. have confidence, but you, you, you're small in size, but you yes. still don't have confidence. And I was saying... I was saying, smaller people, you've already won. Yeah. Why are you so mad? <laughs> you don't, you, 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 everything is geared towards exactly. you. You're happy. Exactly. So why are you so mad at us? Yeah. I would, you should be the happiest. You should be clapping your hands. Then I realized people aren't happy. Nobody's re Women have these imperfections. Everybody has these imperfections about themselves that it's, it's, their insecurities will come out on you even if yeah. you, you'll catch a stray bullet. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, noticed that. Yeah, wow, yeah. you made me go there, Lungelo. I <laughs> was not trying to go there today. But it's, it's beautiful because, um, as you're saying again, somebody out there is sitting at home, oh my gosh, I hope they pick me, I hope they pick me. Yeah. 
this is what you must know, you must expect. Yeah. They might pick you. Yeah. It might change your life. You might Just get into ready. the Big Brother house. Yeah. But please be know ready. that if a certain content director feels that you are going to be the promiscuous one, yeah. branded as the promiscuous yeah. one, or branded as the liar yeah. in the house, yeah. they can cut and edit things Absolutely. in such a way Absolutely. that for three months you are promiscuous and a liar. <laughs> you I know? can't believe it. I did not know that they didn't put that with the disclaimer. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for yeah. But obviously your relationship now with them is beautiful. Yeah, I don't have any problem with anybody that, yeah. we were, that we were living with. I actually feel like there's no way we can have a problem with each other. We saw each other butt naked. <laughs> I know, like, right? <laughs> everybody, how, how can we... You, so there's no way we should all be you know we should all be just fostering camaraderie yeah it should yeah. all be like a beautiful experience that we laugh about you know so yeah i laugh with whoever loves with me but i don't have a problem with anybody yeah i really don't I, I think it was a beautiful experience that changed you so much and i think it should be viewed as such mm. you know i wish it was more like a team but you know that's life people are on their different paths um, thank you for sharing your pain story. It's as I said, it's very important. Some people are 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 are, are healing. Some people are reflecting. Yeah. Um, even if it's just one person from this episode, yeah. I promise you, somebody got an opportunity to reflect. And moving forward, they will constantly remember how to navigate certain decisions. Yeah, that's yeah. lovely. I'm 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 glad that you you know pushed me there. It was necessary. I think it's a catharsis. Like just yeah exhale because like you say it, you, you never know who it's going to reach to and who out there is going to benefit from that yes please benefit from my pain <laughs> <laughs> really do you think you're scared of failure oh absolutely oh absolutely nail on the head that stems from childhood you're an only child you're the only one there's no backup kid if if you mess up you've messed up yeah. there's no backup there's yeah. no younger brother older brother there's nothing it's just you so that Fear was, was instilled, not even by my parents. It's not like they pushed. Mm. It was the circumstance surrounding how you grow up, and then that pushes you definitely. I definitely am. I'm so crippled by the fear of failure that I won't even try at some instances. And, and my, mom, my mom gets so upset with me because she, she can says, see an opportunity look, that you deserve. Look around you. If you just try. She says to me all the time, and my best friend, she says, there's people's necks that are alive because you're not stepping on them. Like, you're letting people breathe, Yoli. Yeah. She keeps saying it. And, and even someone that I was with previously who was in the industry, and he kept saying, can I, can I, can I? I'm like, eh. He goes, if you just did this, Yolanda, mm. it will be over. Yeah, yeah. And, and now that it, it all comes back to that I am painfully crippled. I don't know how to deal with that. I am trying to deal with it in therapy. Um, yes, it's a crippling fear. Crippling. It is. Do you, it, it, does it, do you think it's, as you said, okay, you identifying that it stems from a place of being an only child. Um, I, I, I actually am the opposite. I, I, I try things. I risk things. Um, for me, financially, for example, financially and in terms of time, I, I, another person would be like, why are you doing this, this podcast, for example? Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm, an, I'm an established in my career as a professional engineer. I, I'm working. I've got school. I've got yeah. businesses that I'm working on. Um, uh, there's, there's a lot that I'm doing that yeah. brings me in revenue. In yeah. fact, right now, this is the most least revenue that I yeah. get from anything. Yeah. But because as humans, we live for more than money, yeah. this for me makes a lot of sense yeah. and it's fulfilling it's to my heart, to, right? Yeah. And it's fulfilling and aligned to what I'm meant to do. Yeah. But imagine if I hadn't listened to the alignment, if I hadn't listened to the voice that says, yeah. be aligned and do this, right? As yeah. we said, we've reached more than 1.3 million views. That's 1.3 million people who are healed. 1.3 million people who are impacted. Amazing. So even as an only child, I think you can just dig deep enough, tap into a space where you're like, actually, I'm alone, so nobody's going to judge me. I can try it and fail, and it's okay. There's nobody who's, yeah. uh, who's probably dependent on me. You know, some people with siblings, they have younger yeah, siblings. They have like younger that. siblings. They're taking to university. So I can just try things. Like, I, I, in the past four years, I've bought apartments, sold, 
taken the money, tried that, taken, moved, kicked out a tenant, put in a yeah. new tenant, changed it from a, an apartment to an Airbnb yeah. because I have the liberty. I'm alone. I can try. It's my money. Yeah. No one's going to tell me, you know? I hear you. No, I hear you. I th what you're saying is exactly right and shows that it's your mind that's the problem. It's not your circumstance. It's not your whatever. You, you're telling me so fearlessly that you have that boldness to do that. You're daring to do that. Yeah, your yeah, mind yeah. is telling you I can. Yeah. Where I'm on the opposite side, where, I, where, I, where I'm stifled by mm. my mind because I'm a perfectionist. And so where, where someone can look, and I, I went to a painting class. I went to a sip and paint yesterday, no, mm -hmm. day before yesterday with my best friend. And um, I was painting. And I, I kept saying, I can't do this. I can't. I, cannot, I can't paint. And why did you bring me here? I got, you know, quite flustered. I, can't, I cannot do it. I can't paint this thing. Why are you making me do it? At the end, it was the best one. Even the guy that was um, the leader of it, she, he kept saying, why would you keep saying that you can't do it? Look at this. It's the best one. I, was, I look at him and I said, this is, look at the line here. This is wrong. And look at the color here. It's not even blending. It's not <laughs> matching. How can you, are you blind? How are you running this? He said, look at, just stop. You were so expectant of it going wrong. Yes. From the beginning. And I do you that didn't to myself. You didn't give it a chance yes. to be right. Absolutely. Even from the get-go, you didn't apply enough hope for At it all. to come out right. At all. And I did it, even, even still saying no. I did my honors the same. Saying, how dare I not come out of this degree? It was so easy. Did my master's <laughs> the same and said, I, I handed my thesis in so late. And I kept saying to myself, no one's going to read this. No one's going to read this. Today there's papers online that have quoted Y Glover. Mm. And I still can't fathom. It's me. I'm the problem. It's never, mm, it's, mm, mm. I know it's me. I know that I'm the one doing that to myself. I found the root of it in therapy where it started. So now it becomes, it's starting to work on those. There's techniques they teach me how to do, et cetera, et cetera. I'm working on it. I know it's, the pro it's, my, it's me that's the problem. It filters itself in every way. Why am I dating multiple people? Because I have not found the perfect one. Why have I not taken more risks in my career? Because I've figured out what to do and I'm doing that perfectly. Mm, this is my mm, head mm, space. Mm, mm, so mm. why would you try and do that? Yolanda, stick here, you know what you're doing here, keep it here. Yeah, yeah. It's, you can see how that seed has germinated in every avenue. So it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a crippling fear. I spoke to my mom and dad about it. Yeah. As to how and why this happened. We figured out what the root of it is. Um, she said even when I was a child, and, and she told me a story. I, did, I do ballet. I don't know if you see on my social media. I'm a ballet dancer. I've been doing ballet for a while now. Yeah. And I left ballet <laughs> because I was like, I can't anymore on the point shoe. There's a shoe. There's a specific shoe that we, you graduate. It's called grade six where there's a shoe with a wood tip in it and you've got to be on it. I left because I was like, there's no way that my body can carry that. So I'm, I'm done. It's a wrap. I left six years of ballet and was like, peace out. Yeah. And yeah. I came back 20 years later. I started doing ballet again about a month ago and I've been crying every single day in rehearsal when I can see that my foot is now fitting in the point shoe and going up. And I wouldn't post that. Why am I not posting that? My friends keep telling me, post it. Post the journey. Let people see that. You were cr this fear thing of yours. This and my mom told me I was so perfect because being a bigger child, you're waiting for someone to say, oh, it's because she's bigger. Of course. That's why she can't do it because she's bigger. So I made myself make sure that I, I'm going to do it perfectly so you have nothing else to say. And then that kind of forced its way through. It's not, it's not people. It's not yeah, the surrounding. It's, yeah. it's my own brain mm. that's doing that. So yes, working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> um, the, the, uh, just a caveat. Um, there's something you mentioned about you are being quoted, the work that you've done um, yeah. your, in, in, in your, in your postgraduate studies. Yes. Um, I just want you to highlight the importance of being educated as a black woman oh, and what it has done for your life. I'd love to Because you have, as you said, you have had to deal with a fame that almost came overnight, yeah. but the reality is that fame that comes overnight is actually problematic. Absolutely. And a lot of people crave that fame Absolutely. that comes overnight. Conversely, if you didn't have your education, you wouldn't have anything to Absolutely. come back to. Uh, oh. Mouthful. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, education is still sexy. Please, please, can we just get back to that? You're so right. Um, yeah, I mean, had it not been for the discipline that yeah. comes with pursuing postgraduate studies, you're nothing without that discipline. And you need that discipline. Um, it helps you just to regulate in, in your everyday to day mm, life. Mm, it's mm. so important. And I think even more as a black woman, you're already a marginalized group. Why not have that ammunition for
for, for yourself. And it doesn't mean, I don't mean go and study chartered accountancy or, or, or whatever else, but there are so many areas of study that are necessary in the world today, especially in the digital marketing space. All these wonderful things that are now available that weren't when we were studying. <clears throat> You had a certain path that you were going to pursue, and then that's it. Engineer, teacher, doctor, lawyer, that's it. Now there's so much more avenues, a plethora of things to study and, and, and engage, and please, please do that. I think yeah. it's so important that the nation be educated, and that needs to be sexy again. Even, again, going back to my whole revamp on social media, people were saying, why not do that? Post that. Post the, the, part, the fact that you're a teacher as well. Post the fact that you've done a master's in, in industrial psychology. Post that. Mm -hmm. People need mm -hmm. to know that and, and, and how you, you know, just post that. Show that side of you. And I will be. That's why I'm revamping. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. revamping my page. That, that, that's coming. Yeah. You, told this, you told me this off air that even yesterday you were at the Sebenza Women Awards yes. and you felt like, can I just give you my page? Why yes. did you feel like that? What I, were you experiencing there? I felt the... the, the the energy that I was surrounded with yesterday, first of all, that, that award ceremony, sh it should have so much more hype. That, sh that should be the BET Awards or whatever, on that level of hype. The caliber of women that I was in the honor of being in presence with yesterday, women that, are, that have got their boots on the ground, really working for the community, really working to push South African youth, to push anything to do with you know, this country and making it better. You hear so much of the, you know, the negatives about this country and how this country is this and this country is that. And yesterday, sitting in the presence of women who want better for themselves and their community, I felt like I'm not doing enough. I felt so mediocre, Lungelo. And I felt like, well, what is Instagram doing? Me posting an outfit, what, what, what is this? in comparison to what these women are doing for the community, for themselves, for the empowerment of the black race. Here, take my page, do with it what you will. Just please run with it. That's how I felt yesterday. Yeah, because yeah. I was surrounded by so much black excellence. And the fact that there were not enough eyes on that ceremony and not enough eyes on that platform, it just it made me feel like we should do more as as media people yeah yeah we should, we yeah, should do yeah. there, there needs to be some kind of a shift towards exactly what i was telling you of air this philanthropy that you're doing that's trying to push humanity as it should be should that should be so much more hyped than the latest makeup trend yeah yeah i, yeah. I really i really that's my hope <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny you say yes. that um i've been on this trajectory of consistently reminding um my very beautiful team that um, we need to focus on the details. We need to yes. focus on the details. I keep on telling them we need to focus yes. on the details in building this platform. And I explained to them something that probably was a passive thing that they noticed, but yeah. they didn't know why I was doing as to yeah. why I'm always in the same black outfits in every episode. And yes. my reason for being in the same black outfits in every episode is because when I want you to watch this show, I don't want you to watch this show and say, oh my gosh, I wonder if he's wearing Gucci today or if he's wearing oh. a Macrosa t-shirt. Your energy, oh. full attention, that 5% that I couldn't have tapped into oh, must be that. about what we are saying and what we are talking oh, about. Come on. There's a 5% that we... Uh, that Maybe if you're watching another platform, you won't notice because you're noticing if his hair is cut or not. Oh, I'm at a point where I come to my I show on a recording day because it's on the schedule. Yeah. It's not about, did I get my hair cut? Yes. Is my skin perfect? Is yes. what, what? I'll get there in a simple outfit yes. that you are expecting to see. Yes. So that part of, that 3% part of your brain that would have wasted time oh, analyzing my now outfits. you're listening. You're listening. Oh, preach. Yeah. So I, 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 I love that you're saying that, that we that. should be using our platforms yes. to, to push conversations yes. that have impact. Absolutely. People need impact in this world. Absolutely. We are in a time and day where we are overwhelmed with information, but is it the right information? I don't think so. I 100% agree with you. We are, we are sensory beings as mm. human beings. That's why we've got so many senses. And now you're engaging your brain, which is the most important muscle of your body, yeah. and you're filling it with things that are of no value. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, oh, I love that. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please, Longello. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, we're, nearing, we're nearing the end of this episode. Um, thank you so much. It's been, it's been absolutely beautiful. But, but, but before you leave, um, I, just, I, I just want to ask is, what's that one thing in life that you say, this I know for sure? Ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> This I know for sure. I'm going to say this. 
this I know for sure, that everything is okay. Mm. I, need, I need people to understand that even when it's not okay, it's okay. And it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to... Yeah, everything is going to work out. I think we are so... We are so um, overly stimulated by success and all, all we see on the outside and comparisons and, and, and I can't and I won't and, and all of these things. But one thing I know for sure, that it's going to be okay. And if you keep that in the back of your mind, and I'm telling this to myself as well, then you don't need to you know, sit in fear or sit in, 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 in depression or sit in, you know, it's going to be okay. I think people just need a hug. I was telling my friend the other day, adults need a jumping castle. Do you know that thing we used to do when we were younger? Jump, freaking jump on, on that jumping castle and have a party? Sit down and have a... That. To be carefree, have you watched children? To be childlike again. To remember just the core of who you are. And, and at the core of humanity, we are happy beings. It is the sensory overload that has made you feel that it's not going to be okay. One thing I know for sure is it's going to be okay. Uh, a master's industrial psychology <laughs> graduate, a teacher, a lover of life, a plus-size activist, a pan-Africanist, a wholesome woman whom you've understood in a different level after this episode. I hope oh. you've enjoyed. My name is Lungelo KM. The show oh. is Engineer Your Life. And I'll see you on the next episode. Come on, outro. <laughs> <laughs>